This is what 402 square yards of video looks like. About the size and shape of an average residential building lot. It's the Sony Jumbotron at Toronto Sky Dome. How much does it cost? Well, you and I aren't likely to have one in our house soon. For one thing, it comes with its own studio. This is the Jumbotron's control room. During events at the Sky Dome, five cameras cover the action for the sole purpose of keeping yeah. interesting pictures flowing. As well as the cameras, there's an electronic file of still pictures on hand. Using standard video production machinery, stills of logos can be captured with a small color camera, and titles can be composed for direct display or superimposition. The most important accessory for the Jumbotron is this machine. It can stretch, squeeze, and reposition pictures in real time. Big as it is, the Jumbotron only displays the center one-third of its video input. Live pictures from the cameras are framed with the Jumbo's display area in mind. Logos can be shrunk to one-third size to fit with a half-size crop picture, or three normal video frames can be shrunk and displayed side by side. A safe area generator in the control room generates white reference marks on the control room monitors to guide the positioning of the pictures before they're sent to Jumbo. This is how you turn on the Jumbotron. This is the Jumbotron's power-up sequence. It's performing some self-tests. The picture on the Jumbotron is made up of 67,200 of these. This is a Trini light. Each Trini light displays two pixels of the total picture. Pixel is short for picture element, the smallest point of light in the picture. Trini lights work on the cathode ray glowing phosphor principle, similar to your color TV. The three stripes on each half show the location of the red, green, and blue phosphors. The chicken wire mesh over the front helps drain away static electricity so that the jumbotron won't attract dust and grease like a home TV does. The back of the jumbotron is about what you'd expect, only bigger. The 67,000 Trini lights are assembled into units that contain 16 Trini lights each. That's 32 pixels if you're still counting. Five floors of catwalks provide access for servicing. Five floors is big enough, but remember, the Jumbotron's three times wider than it is high. There must be a better phrase than real big, but it's the only one that comes to mind when you stand at the back. This is one of 27 cooling fans. In case you feel intimidated by your own TV set, you'll be pleased to know that each unit has a familiar sticker on the back. Refer servicing to qualified personnel. Geez, I hope they don't have to take it back to the shop. The folks at the dome were very nice about letting Acme play with the Jumbotron for a couple of hours. Given the huge scale of the Sky Dome itself, a little nonchalance towards a twelfth of an acre TV picture is natural. But for a kid who grew up with a 14-inch black and white set, well, let's just hold a bit. There. And my gym teacher said I'd never make it to the stadium. <laughs> <laughs>